still in. Welcome to my morning routine when I don't have class at 9 a.m. This is a beauty of a 2 p.m. class. We're simple again. Like, why do I have to journal 10 pages, read 20 pages before I'm also making myself go to Pilates? These are my morning, morning routine thoughts. Oh my god. Okay, the Pete's coffee guy loves Colby and now I'm with Colby all the time so he gave us both free large Woo! coffees. I love Pete's! <laughs> I got coconut, she got caramel. Yeah, Pilates today. <sighs> it wasn't good. <laughs> it wasn't good. I did end up changing the outfit completely. <laughs> this is what we're going with instead. Actually, I'll show you a better, a better fit check in a second. We have one class today, so not really that serious. Okay, this is the new outfit. Totally scrapped the last one, but I really love how comfy the sweater is. So sweater, boom, my tripod's right here. Actually, speaking of which, this thing fell off weeks ago and I still need to call someone about it. So like I weirdly keep the tripod here sometimes because it holds it up. Um, it's not doing that right now, but this is the outfit now. Post Pilates, pre-class. Wednesdays are so great because I usually have the mornings free because I only have one class and it starts so late. So it's kind of like the world is my oyster. And I know this is my productive morning routine and what I usually do. So usually I'll come home from my coffee sesh with Colby and I'll like stay home and do work for a while or sometimes I'll go to the library and do work most times. Like very rarely I'll go to a cafe and do work. Oh wait, I literally got sidetracked. Here's the rest of the outfit. I think I'm gonna wear my black high top converse. Skirt, Brandy Melville. Sweater, Princess Polly. Necklace, the Heaven Mark Jacobs and my converse. I usually go do work. I know the like morning routine. They're so interesting because don't get me wrong, I love watching them. They're kind of addicting. When everyone's like 6 a.m. wake up, 7 a.m. gym, shower, go to class, hop onto work. Like, it's so inspiring. But like I wanna be realistic too. And I feel like with social media, there's so much pressure with productive and being productive and what productive means. And I saw 
this is so silly i like saw this tiktok comment the other day on someone's post and it was just really sweet and i think it's important to remember that being productive can literally be something like as simple as just making your bed in the morning and it's just like it's totally a perspective thing like how you define being productive so if you're ever having a slow day a flop day like you can't not feeling up to doing stuff don't beat yourself up about it i think just taking stuff one step at a time and i woke up early today and i went to pilates and i got ready for the day and i do a class i probably will do work after class but i think i'm just gonna take a break and go on a walk with tara instead that's productive in itself taking the breaks so yeah productive morning routine realistic morning routine it like it can't be the same every time though because life is so unpredictable you can't plan everything that was my ted talk on why i'm not going to the library right now so thanks for joining me on that gonna bring my little purse and we're gonna go meet tara by the park and then go just walk and talk and yeah and see the people see the world and then we'll go pretend to be forensic anthropologists again literally sitting in that class makes me so sick the photos he shows are so graphic of the bodies like decomposing that like it sometimes it genuinely makes me feel ill